Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Jamie, Farnsworthy Vending. We're gonna locate some machines today. Well, a snack machine and a soda machine. So, a lot of you guys are asking how I go about doing this. Now, something I gotta stress is, I really went around and like made my name for everyone with the honor boxes. And I have a video that I'm gonna link. I'm pretty sure I gotta put it up here somewhere. You can go in there, check it out. I wore some secret spy glasses and did some locating. Um, since then, since I've moved into the snack and soda machine, I really just networked with people around and I didn't actually go into any locations to get any of these. For the most part, they came to me. I had a friend who knew that I was getting into it and he was like, hey, we don't have soda machines, we don't have snack machines. Jamie, is there any way that you can get some stuff in there? And come to find out they're building a new location and everything. So I went right ahead and I was like, yeah, of course I can. I got a machine ready. I did a couple live streams on fixing that machine. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys a process to me actually putting it on site, on location for you. Um, something, I did a lot of stuff wrong. I did a lot of stuff the way you, not really the way you should do it. I just didn't really have the finances to do it the right way. Still don't. Working on it, building, getting better all the time. Um, first off, the truck wouldn't start, so we went right ahead and I pulled my itty bitty four cylinder car up to this big 8.1 liter Chevy and jumped it. You're not really supposed to do that. You should be jumping an eight cylinder with an eight cylinder. I can't remember where I heard that, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's true. So, but it worked anyways. So let's go into that clip real quick. Well, this is not the right way to do things. Once we got that situated, the truck finally started and we made our way down to get the uh, dolly and I'll show you what we did there. All right guys, truck is running. We got some stuff moved around. Let's go get that dolly so we can get the snack machine in the back of this thing. All right guys, we got our trusty rental here and now we got to move some machines around. Let's see if I can, there we go. I'll set you up just like that. Okay, so um, picking up this machine, I'm only doing it by myself. There's no one else there to really help me. What I did is I strapped a huge strap to it with the uh, dolly the way it was. I jumped up on the uh, dolly and just used all my weight to go back. Just like that, you see, it pulls away. I just dropped it. I did the same thing with the other machine. There wasn't a whole lot of room on the other side, so I wound up using... The dolly to hold it in place it kind of tilts over you'll see it in a second right there <laughs> uh, but you'll be able to see a little bit better what I do with this one I kind of yep see I jumped on it pull it back and go all right this guy's ready to go in the back of the truck it's gonna be a pain I'm gonna get Josie out here to help me a little bit but uh, we'll get it up in there this was like Josie didn't wind up helping me I think she was sleeping or something. I didn't want to wake her up. This was pretty nerve-wracking, I'm not going to lie. I really hate doing this stuff alone. I really shouldn't do it alone. And uh, fortunately for me, I'm pretty strong. But uh, you can see I'm just kind of like scoping it out. And I do this for a while. I just look at it, I touch it, I move around. Got to get everything out of my way. Make sure it's all... Uh, Sure I can see what I'm doing and don't trip on anything. Building up the nerve. Here it comes. All right, I got this. Uh, no, I don't. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I should. Uh, hmm. What should I do here? I should really do this. But is there anything over there that I can? No, not really. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand here for a second. Oh, let's do this. Yep. Oh, pull the pants up. Yep. Oh, oh, all right. Yep. Uh, hold on. Let me think it through. We're going to open this up. Anything in there? I could use a candy bar right now. Oh, man. Should I really be doing this alone? All right, here we go. I got this. I got this. Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ah. Uh, uh, get in there. Do it. Do it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Too heavy, too heavy. Oh, oh, hold on. Push it, push. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, you can see this was way too heavy. I shouldn't have been doing this alone at all. But 
get it in there, use the manpower, and just kind of push it through. Don't make silly decisions like that. Man. So I'm printing out service seats from Vensoft so I can so I can go out and update this machine as I place it. That way everything goes straight into the computer and everything looks the same in the computer that it does in real life. That's going to make my life a lot easier when it comes to... Uh, I just wish I had started using this program earlier because it makes my life so much easier. There's so much less waste in product. It's awesome. Alright guys, let's move it. guys so at the end of the day I had everything where it needed to be it's not quite placed yet as soon as they're done with the construction I'm gonna go in fill all the machines get them all squared away if you guys want me to make a video on that too please leave a comment below and I'll make sure that I go ahead and do that for you um, if you guys want to check out the software I'm using in the description below also a couple of other products that I use are in the description below thank you so much for your time Guys, this is Jamie, Farnsworthy Vending, out. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Peace.